Hey everybody, um, welcome to the Bird's Nest. Uh, this is a new segment where I basically crack open on some abridged reviews. Yeah, no pun intended on that. Um, just uh, to explain, before I uh, move on further with any of the reviews, I just wanted to say I'm not here to take away the job of Zero Master and Light09. They do an excellent job, enough of theirs, and they have their own named reviews or whatever, so I just thought, well, since uh, the Abridged Podcast and the Abridged Alliance Podcast have their own review, I just thought I could do my own. So, anyways, um, uh, let's see. I've got about four different Averse series that I want to actually cover for the uh, first segment. Let's see, the first one is, of course, one that I never heard of the anime, so it was kind of a surprise to me when I first watched it. Um, uh, the first one is Spice and Wolf Abridged by Toaster, and, uh, he has a female voice actor, which I forget the name who plays that half-female, half-fox chick or whatever, but, um, now, uh, how the uh, reviews go is I basically give a simple pros and cons about the series, and then I put it into a review of, like, a score of, like, one through five, something like what uh, light does, but I basically do it like, if it's like halfway to the number, it would be like a, uh, for example, if it's like crappy, then it'd be like a 2.5, so, that's just an example, but, um, for Spice and Wolf, when I started, uh, watching the series, I was pretty much surprised about, like, some references that I could easily remember, like, I don't know if it was a, a simple reference, but um, the one thing I loved about the first episode was, oh god, time to go Grand Theft Holst driven cot. And that just amazingly made my day, and every day I would uh, poke fun at Light and Zero to uh, have him watch that, and I just keep poking fun of him. He's like, it has horse driven cot. So, I was uh, partially the reason that got them to watch that series. So, um, that's uh, one of the, my favorite parts about it. The other thing that I enjoyed about it was the voice acting. And it was pretty good. Um, it's like a su Southern England type of sounding accents. And it, the differentiation of... Uh, of the sound that he makes. Um, Toaster does a good voice acting job, and I love his work. It, it's very nice. Very nicely done. Um, and same thing goes for the other voice actors. The uh, mic quality uh, could probably be toned down just a little bit, but it was still good. So, um, Now, for um, the cons, the I pretty much felt was um, that there were a lot of jokes that he could have added in there, but um, I mean, there was like a couple of jokes that were kept away, is what I felt, but um, aside from that, I mean, it, it was a good start for an anime that I've never even heard of, and <clears throat> an abridged series that I feel needs to be checked out more. And it's something original. The jokes were original, and oh god, I thought he was gonna pull out a car own dance and that the um, Dawson I can't pronounce it. Um, at the end of the episode, but he put in like a sexual reference song in there, and it made me laugh. So, anyways, uh, for the entire first episode and a good start, I'd have to give Spice and Wolf a Bridge by Toaster a four. Out of five. The next series that I'm going to review is uh, the same one that was done by, um, not the same one, but it's uh, the same creator, Toaster, who did another Abridged series. And uh, this one um, is one of my uh, personal favorite animes, is uh, Gurren Lagann. And 
Well, I mean, there was like a lot of people who had done Gurren Lagann so far, and it's getting to the point where there's too many Gurren Lagans at at the moment, because I'm already seeing like, um, Sevion or Sevion something, but he does Gurren Lagann Extreme, but doesn't call it a bridge, but, um, there's another person that I can't think of at the moment, but it was, um, Episode 2, uh, I got a review on that one later. And then there's uh, Hyper 9, who hasn't released an episode yet. I've only heard that they were working on it. But right now I'm here to review Toaster's Gurren Log in a Bridge. Um, this one I did voice act on, but it was like a cameo for the uh, village chief that said the uh, Punk Slasher! Mm, um... Anyways, um, since I did help with it, I'm not gonna go easy on it just because I cameoed on it. So, um, let's talk about the uh, pros. Um, the voice acting aside from mine, it was good. Um, I could have felt that the uh, Kamina voice actor sounded a little bit too much like the main male character for uh, Spice and Wolf, but it still worked for Kamina, which I felt was pretty good. And uh, when I was looking through the script and I watched the episode, the jokes were pretty funny, but for some reason, he, at the um, very last bit of it, he, um, I think he changed it because there were like lines I recorded and he didn't quite use them, so... Um, the episode, when it came out, I was very surprised because there was a lot of changes and there was some jokes that I found pretty neat, but, um, so yeah, uh, it was a very well written script from what I saw and so uh, voice acting as well. So now for the, um, things that was pretty disappointed or not disappointed, but one thing that I am very afraid of is that. Toaster would s just leave away from Spice and Wolf and totally forget about it, drop the project, and just continue on to just Gurren Lagann. Because I want to see him improve on his series and try to do a little more creativity like he did on the first episode. So, I mean, overall, it's a good start for a first episode. I just wish he doesn't go away from Spice and Wolf because I want to see that one evolve and I want to see this one evolve. So, um, anyways, for uh, the score for Gurren Log and a Bridge by Toaster, I give it a 4.5 out of 5.